Excellent. Welcome. This is Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. It's April 22nd, 2022. Reminder that we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Uh, be nice to each other. For agenda items today, we've got open action items, Docker agent support additions under consideration. I'm going to move that one down a notch. Require Java 11 or newer for Jenkins Core. Java 17 support in Jenkins, and a, a life cycle change in the Docker images. Are there any other topics that you'd like to see added to the agenda? All right, so then let's go through the agenda. So we've got one open action item. It's been a long-term open action item. The plugin installation manager tool documentation um, is does not describe all the use cases that that a user might typically use. And what we did is we had a discussion that with the docs team that we should describe a simple use case on www.jenkins.io and then put the detailed use case into the plugin installation manager tool documentation itself. And that that would put it, in the GitHub repository as part of this README so that users could, could read the documentation and people who are maintaining plugin installation manager tool can then make their changes when they submit pull requests to the plugin installation manager tool. So that action item is still open. It's going to be several weeks before I've got time to work on it or anyone else does. Next topic was required Java 11 or newer for Jenkins core. So here we've proposed that September, actually we proposed and have a Jenkins enhancement proposal um, that has been submitted to end Java 8 support in Jenkins core. And we've made enough progress on the, the plan that's outlined there that we've identified that the September 2022 long-term support release will be the release that no longer supports Java 8. I'll update the Jenkins enhancement proposal to show the, that date. We're gonna to have to do a notification blog post, tooling improvements, and additional testing continue. And those will continue. So this won't happen in the June long-term support release, oops, the June long-term support release, but rather in September. Any questions there? Okay, the next topic, Java 17 support in, the, in Jenkins is ongoing in development. The Jenkins 2.339 release announces preview support for Java 17 and many plugins are now testing with Java 17 in addition to Java 8 and Java 11. So the build tooling improvement is, has largely done there are plenty of additional tasks that are being have been identified in the Jenkins JIRA. And is Jenkins JIRA is being used to track those tasks and identify uh, next steps. Any questions on Java 17 support in Jenkins? All right, so the next topic is Docker, Docker agent support additions. Right now, we support Docker on Windows Server 2019. And we've had some users who've asked for support for Windows Server 2022, the most recent Windows version. They release a Windows major version about every three years. And so from 2019 to 2022, it's time for a new version. It needs additional infrastructure. And uh, that, that infrastructure, it's, 
in the the request is in the infra team, but not yet started. And then the final, any questions on Docker agent support? Okay, last topic then is the Docker image life cycle. So the Docker, the Jenkins process, the Jenkins controller process inside a Docker image has changed its life cycle beginning with Jenkins 2.344, 2.343. And we may need some documentation changes. Right now, we haven't seen any complaints from users. So it looks like we're okay there. Those were all the topics I had for Platform SIG. Emine or Punam, were there any topics that you wanted to ask about today? Okay, well, that's great. I think that completes the topics we needed to, to review in Platform Special Interest Group today. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now uh, so that we've got the recording archived.